everyone, I'm Jen. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. This is my first video and you have tuned into Real Talk. Yeah, so <laughs> I noticed a lot of people on YouTube put up their Miami living videos like they have this great life and maybe they do I'm sure they do mm, I, I don't think it's really like that in real life I'm sorry I know a lot of people want to move here they think it's great and glamorous it's tropical a lot of people think it's paradise it's not all that glamorous and what it's cracked up to be so I think there's some things you need to know. I have a list. Let's get right into it. Number one, Spanish. <laughs> Living here and visiting here are two different things. If you're gonna move to Miami, you may want to learn Spanish. <laughs> It's true. You may want to learn Spanish. If you want a really good job, a decent job, let's say, I don't know, you want to work for a PR firm or, I don't know, a law office or even a doctor's office, anything that, I don't know, any, you would kind of consider like a good job, you, you might want to learn Spanish. Um, most of the jobs here, and I don't want to give any false statistics, but I would say most of the jobs here, you need to be bilingual. Second thing, when I first moved here, I did not have a car. I did have a car, I sold it, and then I moved here. Does that make any sense? Anyway, so the point is I didn't have any <laughs> transportation. I didn't have a car. Do you need a car to get around? Absolutely. Unless you live really close to your job where you can take public transportation, it's not like that bad, or you can just Uber, that might be cost effective for you. But yeah, the public transportation is really bad. I'm from Chicago <laughs> and I can't believe I had the nerve to complain about riding the bus. In Chicago now mind you I did have a car but at, occasionally when I was going to UIC I would take the bus I mean you know or the train L train here oh my goodness it is it is so bad it is so, oh. and it's gotten worse can you imagine it's gotten worse they took some of the buses out or so I don't know what they did it just made it worse you have to wait like I know someone who literally it takes them two hours to get to work and two hours to get home that's four hours out of your day commuting to work no thanks and that's a good segue into my next point if you decide you want to get a car well Enjoy all the wonderful traffic that we have to offer. The traffic in Miami is beyond ridiculous. It's so bad. But at the same time, keep in mind that we are a tourist area. Um, public transportation is really awful. So you kind of forced to get a car. You know, so you can just expect traffic all the time. All the time. Now, I want to talk about hurricane season. Yay. We have hurricane season every year, right? We don't actually have a hurricane that hit us every year. But uh, we do get the rain and the winds and the power outages, things like that. However, uh, every year is imperative that we prepare for the hurricane and we have to put together our emergency kits. And every time I say the word kit, it makes me think of like something small and compact. Well, that's not the case here. I'm not going to go into everything that you will need for an emergency kit or hurricane emergency kit. 
but um it can run you hundreds of dollars just keep that in mind and a lot of people foolishly don't prepare that's on you if that's what you want to do but it's very important that you prepare for the hurricane season trust me number five cost of living Whew. okay it is so expensive to live in florida um specifically miami florida it's very expensive here the cost of living i'm talking about rent um groceries even your car insurance just because you live here your car insurance will go up but yeah it's it's very expensive here um <laughs> this is a true story i this is very recent actually i've been into cooking um cauliflower and making the pizza crust out of cauliflower instead of using flour so that's something i've been doing lately anyway so uh, i went to the store grocery store <laughs> this complete stranger behind me standing in the grocery line uh kind of got an attitude with me and said that's a lot of money for some cauliflower <laughs> and i just felt so like ashamed i was like but yeah but i want it and i don't know where to get it for cheap so anyway the point is the cauliflower was so outrageously priced that the guy behind me had to speak up and say something about it that's how bad i mean the prices here are in in the grocery store so i paid something like five and change for a small head of cauliflower that wasn't even organic it was it was awful that's what we deal with here so this may not affect a lot of people this affects me because you know what I like nice people I consider myself to be a nice person sometimes <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, no but seriously you know who doesn't like nice people if you're from the Midwest like myself um, or anywhere I just say anywhere I think that you probably don't realize how nice people are where you currently live until you move to Miami. Now keep in mind at the beginning of this video I said visiting is completely different from living here. So if you're a tourist and you go to the tourist spots, yeah everyone's going to seem friendly and nice and great. Miami has some of the rudest people on earth. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. <laughs> but it's pretty bad I mean people are pretty rude and just like not yeah there it's I'm not even gonna go into it it's bad just so just expect just rudeness all the time expect that honestly I had some friends who were in town visiting from Chicago actually and they were having a blast everyone was so nice they were going to this place that place and everyone was nice and when I told them that in general, in general, um, people are friendlier in Chicago than they are here in Miami. They thought I was nuts. But it's not nuts. It's the reality. Now these are on my list, but they don't really bother me all that much. Um, these things kind of bother most people though, so I decided that I was going to mention it um the heat yes it gets very 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 hot in miami um <laughs> i love the tropical weather though um but it definitely gets hot especially in the summertime of course and if you're gonna be out just be prepared it's it's it can be it can be pretty brutal so the heat but something that goes along with the heat uh, will be the humidity now for me I'm a natural girl I have you know curly hair that I kind of wear out all the time anyway and I don't wear makeup I have very oily skin so it doesn't really bother me uh, the humidity actually I think it's quite nice but some people have said that it makes them feel like they're suffocating so humid I personally I hate that dry heat I've been to places like Nevada where it gets really hot but it's also like very dry oh I think that's the worst but whatever to each zone uh lizards lizards 
lizards lizards are everywhere if you are afraid of lizards you probably should move here because they do get into your house quite often and last but not least palmetto bugs now I'm not I don't know a whole lot about palmetto bugs except for the fact that they look like roaches they might actually be roaches and also be called palmetto bugs these are the big ones that have wings and they fly they're so horrible well that's all I have for now do you also live in Miami do you agree or disagree with me please let me know in the comment section below also, are you looking to move to Miami? Did my assessment help you at all? Do you have more questions? Please be sure to write that in the comment section below too. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!